First of all, I love you both very much. That's always been obvious for over seven years. And I'm, I'm super happy tonight. Um, when I sat down, I'm going to read it because I'm going to lose my shit if I don't. Um, when I sat down to collect my thoughts of what I would say today, over the last few months, I looked at different ways to express what I was feeling about Noah and Megan finally being here today and starting their life together as husband and wife. It's a big deal for me. It always has been. My thoughts range from, do I make it serious or funny? And then I thought, you know, am I really that serious? Am I really that funny? Do I want to be serious? Do I want to be funny? Will anyone else think I'm funny? Then I saw Noah's scowl on his face in my mind, and I decided to just stick to the facts and present. Since I really never came to a conclusion, I just decided to speak from the heart. My life was indefinitely impacted by, coming, by becoming the stepdad to a 10-year-old boy. Stepdad. Now, there's a word I'm not particularly fond of. Same with stepson or stepdaughter, or for that matter, daughter-in-law. I like the bonus dad moniker that I recently was given, and I'll always consider myself a dad. My background is railroad. I'm a fourth generation railroad, and my mom and dad are here, and their example of 54 years of marriage gets me through every day, and is a perfect example, and is the reason why I am the man I am today. I'm super proud of my career. Kids want to grow up sometimes to be like their parents, a fireman or a policeman. I always want to be in the railroad. When I first met Deb and Noah, I was just starting out in my career on the railroad as a clerk. And I eventually, over 10 years, worked my way up to a goal of a train master. I truly do not believe that I could have accomplished that without my wife and Noah. You, know, you see, Noah grounded me to be a better man, to be a dad. There are also little experiences along the way that helped me become a dad. One of them was after working a shift overnight, arriving almost in my driveway to prepare for a day's rest, I received the call that someone had forgotten their assignment at home and needed it delivered to the school. So off I went. Then there was another time while working shift work where my Saturday was on a Sunday, and after having a great beach, beer, and barbecue day, I was uh, settling down to rest, and at some point Noah comes to me about midnight and lets me know that tomorrow, Monday, he's going to need some gym clothes. So off I go to Wally World about 1.30 in the morning and then get up and take him to school the next morning. The first car accident, I received the call. Drove all the way from South Point in Jacksonville to witness the carnage. So I like to refer, refer to myself as a dad. And Noah is a son. Not trying to compete. I never have. I've just been a guy that's been part of your life and try to be the best example I could be. To me, I've always been there as a father, loving his son. A son who was lucky enough to have two dads that cared deeply about him and brought different perspectives to his life. I would like to hope he learned a few things from us along the way that stuck. No, you made me a better man and a better father to your sister, Isabel. Thank you. I love you. Now, Megan Lee, Brian DeLillo, what can I say about you? You're a daughter, not an in-law. Welcome to this crazy extended family. We love you. I knew Meg was the one, and I have a great personal fondness for Meg as she is a Bishop Kenny graduate, as I am too. I knew Meg has and will bring a lot of things to Noah's life that he was missing. They will make each other complete in their time together many ways they already have over the last seven years. My favorite thing that you have brought to Noah is his smile. He's always smiled since he met you, and that's awesome. There's a lot of money spent on his teeth. <clears throat> Thank you for loving my son, and I love you both very much, and I'm proud of you. And proud to be the bonus dad. Thank you so much, Timothy. 
Next up to the stage.